temporarily. Senate Bill 1553, a bill relating to urban county executive form of government abandoned shopping carts. Senator from Eastern Fairfax, Senator Servo. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this bill uh, I have introduced to uh, give Fairfax County a little bit more authority with regard to abandoned shopping carts. Uh, we've had situations where these things keep showing up all off people's property, and basically it allows the locality to adopt an ordinance where they, whereby they put the owner the, the, that this cart has been found. They have 10 days to come pick it up and bring it back, and if they don't, they can be assessed the cleanup fees. Um, there's a real scourge of this in Springfield on the Route 1 corridor. I've taken 250 shopping carts out of a creek in my district over five years, not in the woods, in the creek. And uh, 250 carts. And I can show you pictures of piles and piles of shopping carts. Uh, and I would just hope we could pass the bill to give the uh, locality some more tools to deal with this. I move the bill pass. Thank you, Senator. For what purpose, Senator from Western Fairfax, Senator Marsden and Rise? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would uh, ask that the gentleman from Southeastern Fairfax yield for a question. Well, Senator, yield for a question. My predecessor is Southeast Fairfax. I'm Eastern Fairfax. Eastern Fairfax. Fairfax. <laughs> Eastern. I'm sorry. The, uh, well, Senator, yield. I'll yield. Senator, yield. You have Thank the floor. You, Mr. President. You know, at first, when I heard these carts were showing up in the creek, uh, I began to think that this was perhaps a, a, a new and more modern approach to the duck blind that uh, were being created in these, uh, in these creeks. But now I've realized from the uh, testimony here earlier today that perhaps it's individuals from his district, and wouldn't the gentleman not agree that potentially people are bringing their money back home from MGM casinos across the river and then depositing these carts in the creek when they're done? <laughs> Set the floor. Uh, I tell the gentleman I only wish that's the case, but I don't think these folks have a lot of transportation, which is why they're moving their stuff around in shopping carts, but uh, I only wish that was the case. Thank the Senator. Uh, for what purpose is the Senator from Spotsylvania? Senator Reeves, rise. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Will the uh, Senator rise for a question? Senator from Eastern Fairfax, rise for a question. I'll yield. Senator yields. You have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'm a pretty simple guy trying to read this. So the way I understand it, that... <clears throat> If I own a shopping cart with a uh, grocery store and somebody takes that shopping cart, which is a larceny of my property because they're not cheap, dumps it off down the road into said creek, I'm now going to be held liable for a theft which occurred on my property? Senator has the floor. Um, Mr. President, I would say to the gentleman, no, that's not the case. Uh, uh, for those of you, one of the first things we learn in law school is that in order for something to constitute a theft, you have to take something with the permanent intent to deprive somebody forever, not just borrowing it and not just taking it and using it for a little while. You have to have the intent to take it and keep it forever. And these carts are not stolen. They are abandoned. They are used and they are abandoned, which is not a crime. And uh, so that's the first, my first response. And the second thing I would say is that uh, with regard to many of these stores, they have ways to control carts. They can put in systems that have um, a wire in the ground, which cause the carts to lock when you go over the wire. There's some places that require a deposit to bring them back. And right now, a lot of these businesses don't have the incentives to install those systems in place. All this does is make sure the county doesn't have to pay for these businesses that are allowing their sh carts to escape all the time. Fairfax County paid over $56,000 to have this creek cleaned up seven years before I cleaned it up over about five cleanups. And, um, I think the incentives need to be rebalanced in some areas. Thank you, Mr. Question. President. Further question? Further question? I yield. I yield. Senator Yield, you have the floor. Um, so I, I'm really trying to grasp this. So now as a store owner, I'm going to have to do a count each night. If I'm mom and pop, I'm not one of the big chains that can afford all the technology that you're saying exist out there. So now I've got a burden that I've got to have somebody count all my carts each and every night. And then I'm, if I'm missing a cart that was, quote, unquote, uh, removed or borrowed, I need, now need to report that to the police as a larceny if it's not in my county tonight. Is that what he suggests I tell the, the people that have these carts in these small grocery stores? Senator, is the floor. Mr. President, I would say to the gentleman from Spotsylvania that no, I, I don't think anybody has to do that. The only time that this ordinance would come into play is if a county locates your cart off-site, writes you a letter, they give you 10 days to come and pick it up, get it back to your store. So you, you don't have to do an inventory every night. You just only have to act once the county told you, hey, your cart is over there in somebody else's property. Come pick it up. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Senator.
Do any other senators wish to be heard on Senate Bill 1553? Seeing none, the question is, shall Senate Bill 1553 pass? All in favor of the motion will record their vote aye. Those opposed, no. Are the senators ready to vote? Have all the senators voted? Do any senators desire to change their vote? The clerk will close the roll. Ayes 21, noes 19. Ayes 21, noes 19. Senate Bill 1553 passes. Mr. President.